story of a lower middle class American preacher's kid that found that we don't always do all the right things for the right reasons. Now my dad is the finest man of God to ever grace the pulpit of a small Pentecostal church. To tell the truth, I was born on Monday and in church on Sunday and I guarantee I was never late. Cause mom was the organ player and the Sunday school teacher while I took up the offering. It would always make me give it back. And as a child, I had the honor of sitting in the front row for the first five minutes of every sermon. That's usually how long it takes to be called up to the platform for the express purpose of keeping me from escaping under the pew. There I would sit behind the pulpit, count ceiling tiles for the next hour and a half. But like most people over the years, I got used to the pressure of seeing and doing all the right things, whether I believed it or not. Because if I didn't, I had the largest gathering of elderly ladies ever to act upon their moral obligation to report everything I ever said or did. So you can understand why I loved going to the youth conventions. Because it proved beyond the shadow of a doubt there were girls going to church that were under 65 years of age. Suddenly there she was, fourth row back on the left in the choir, the absolute dream of every kid ever to seek, permission to borrow the family car. Hey, Mr. Bailey has a daughter, hope that she'll notice me. She got me singing in the choir, volunteering my time for free. Now I'm praying for revival, working at living right. Amazing what'll turn your life around in a hurry. Overnight, I'd come to realize what it meant, wrong or right, to be motivated. I was captivated. I was serious. Shoot, I was hearing voices. Suddenly, all the things I'd been doing for years took on a whole new experience. You see, now I was out to please someone besides myself. I was convinced she was an angel from heaven. Who knows? She might have been. She disappeared fast enough. But look who's still here, trying to do the right thing for the right reason. Break it down, baby. Hey, sing, Mr. Bailey has a daughter. Oh, but she'll notice me. Got me singing in the choir. Volunteering my time for free. Now I'm praying for revival. Working at living right. Mr. Bailey has a daughter, hoping she'll notice me. Got me singing in the choir, volunteering my time. Now I'm praying for revival, working at living right. Man, I never look more sanctified in church on Sunday night. Now, church on Sunday night. Man, I never look more sanctified in church on Sunday night. Man, I never look more sanctified church on Sunday night. Well, I hope you got that on tape. We made that up. Uh, that was more fun than actually practicing a song. <laughs>